Hi everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve subtraction problems using a hundred square or a number line. Both of these are really good if you're using larger numbers such as 39 because you don't want to draw 39 things that will take you far too long. Let me show you how to use a hundred square first. If my problem is 39 minus 5, get my 100 square, and I find the number 39. My problem is 39 minus 5, so I need to jump back 5 times. I need to make sure I count the jumps and not the numbers. 1, 2, 3, four, five, and I can circle my last jump, which is 34. 39 minus five is 34. I'm gonna show you that one more time. I start at 39 and circle it. I then jump back five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I circle my answer. Let's try another one. Let's try 56 minus three. So I find 56, and I jump back three. One, two, three. And I circle my answer, 53. 100 squares can be a problem when you've got a bigger number and you're counting back through the 10, like this. If I have 72 minus four. So I follow the same process. I find 72 and I circle it. Then I jump back four, one. I can't keep jumping off to the side because that will, I'll run out of numbers. I can't jump up, because that's jumping 10. So I have to go all the way back to 70. One. That's my second jump, back to 70. Two. Three jumps. Four jumps. Which takes me to 68. 72 minus four is 68. Let's try one more, just like that. I'm going to do 15 minus seven. I find 15, and I circle it. I count back seven. One, two, three, four, big jump back, five, six, and seven. And my last jump lands me on eight. So my answer, is eight. 100 squares are really good if you're not sure about the numbers that come before the numbers you're working with. If you do feel more confident with those, you could use a number line, which I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna use the same numbers to make it nice and simple. So, let's start with 39 minus five. On my paper, I draw my number line. I'm starting at 39. I've got a spool number, so I'm just gonna count back in once. And I need to jump back five times. There's one jump, 38. There's another jump, 37. Another jump, 36. Another jump, 35, and another jump, 34. I need to make sure that I check that I've jumped five times, because that's what I'm taking away. One jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps. So there is my answer, 34. Let's try it one more time, but this time going back through a 10, because actually number lines easier to do 
of that. Let's go with 72 minus 68. So I start my number line. I put 72 at the top. I'm jumping back four jumps. One jump, 71. Two jumps, 70. Three jumps, 69. Four jumps, 68. And I need to check to make sure that I've done four jumps because that's the number I'm taking away. One jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, and then my answer should be 68. Number lines in 100 squares are great for showing how you're working out your problems and also helping you to explain.